Hi guys, it's me. So, as you can see, I've had my baby. <laughs> um, I'm so sorry that I haven't been on here to give you guys an update or anything. Just things have been um, just a little crazy. I mean, after you have a baby, you just kind of just don't care about everything else. So, um, I wanted to introduce you to her. And the light's kind of bright, but I'm sure she won't mind. She's sleeping right now. She just ate. Here she is. Let's see. <laughs> I'm gonna show your face. No, she's not gonna show her face today, but this is her. Her name is Eden, and her middle name is Penelope, and then the hyphen and then a hyphen Reese. And then of course her last name. So Eden Penelope Reese. Um, there's no like special thing to the name. I just absolutely loved it. Um, and I, the reason why she has two middle names is because I couldn't decide which one I liked better. I loved both of them, and I don't know if I'm going to be having another girl in the future, so I just figured, uh, we'll just do both. Not a big deal. So if she doesn't like her first name, she's got two other names to choose from if she wants. Huh. So she was born on February 21st, one day after my due date. I went into labor on my due date at 9 o'clock at night. I'll make sure to include a birth story. Um video probably probably make one right after this for you guys um we'll see what happens kind of depends on her and if my son's gonna cry or not he's down for a nap so i'm actually able to make a video and you're gonna have to excuse the mess in the back because i'm not cleaning my house <laughs> um let's see everything went really really well with the delivery it was only a 14 hour um, labor um and she came out completely just healthy um, she I'm sorry came out on her own time and uh, she was just perfect when she was born she um, she weighed six pounds 13 and a half ounces um, 20 inches long and uh, her Apgar score I don't remember what it was I don't think they really told me but obviously it was good the only thing that we had to do uh, that was extra was that she had a high jaundice level so we went in the next day after we had her and um, got a blood test done and then she actually had a doctor's appointment yesterday and um, the doctor said her jaundice is improving so that's good um, I am exclusively breastfeeding her right now and I'm pumping her on the side right now while I am well I'm pumping on the side while I have like the engorgement um, issues, which is so annoying. I totally forgot about that part. Are you humming? She is a, compared to my son, a champion, um, eater and a champion sleeper. She is completely opposite of my son. All she does is sleeps and eats and poops. I mean, that's all she does. Um, the only time that she cries is if she's hungry and then you feed her, she goes back to sleep. Um, or if she has a really poopy diaper. Um, but that is it. I mean, she's just so easy. Uh, my son was a really colicky baby, and so I was really happy to um, have a very calm, mellow baby. Uh, I am sleeping really well at night. I just wake up to feed her, and we both go right back to sleep. She sleeps in the bed with us, and she does sleep very safely with us. So we don't have any blankets or pillows surrounding her face whatsoever. Um, but she mostly sleeps just in my arms. Um, my husband is thankful that he's getting enough sleep because he had to go back to work yesterday for the first time. And, um, and we're just really, we're doing really good with the adjustment, with the adjustment. The only thing that's been difficult is my son. I think he's kind of learned that once I'm sitting down and feeding her, I can't get up. So he gets into things he's not supposed to. So... Um, we have to remember to, um, to punish him, <laughs> like, that is wrong, you know, type of stuff, but, um, anyway, she's just, she is so sweet, she actually looks more, she looks a lot like her brother does, um, <laughs> she's really red, she's still a little bit jaundice in the face that you can see, she's got a lot of hair, which I was really surprised. I thought I was destined to have very, um, look at that hair. I thought I was going to have bald babies for the rest of my life. 
Um, my son, when he was born, he was blonde hair, and it all fell out and in a couple weeks, and he was completely bald. <laughs> so I'm hoping hers is going to be different. She has really long fingers and toes. Um, that was weird. There's like a bug there. Um, which is kind of weird because my husband and I are more on the shorter side. She, uh, she does have a dimple just like her brother does on this side when she smiles. It is so cute. She's got my nose and I think she has my chin because she doesn't have the little cleft like my son and my husband. So she looks a lot more like me, which is really great. Don't know what her eye color is yet, obviously, because all newborns are like a blue color, like a cloudy blue, um, and we probably won't know for another couple of weeks. But I'm really hoping maybe she'll have my hazel green eyes, so that would be really a cute change, or nice change to have two um, completely different looking children. <laughs> and she's, she's just completely different in every way, and we love her and adore her. She's just such a good baby. She's a sweetheart. So, yep, and about cloth diapering, um, I've been kind of using both disposables and, um, and cloth. The reason for this is because her umbilical cord hasn't fallen off, so I'll use the ones with the umbilical cord snap down, um, the, those cloth diapers until I run out, and then I use disposables. I had to get a few of the newborn um, disposables at the hospital. And then I have a few like size one diapers, but um, yeah, I mean cloth diapering so far is going really well. I just wash, I wash pretty much every other day still. Um, and since my son is cloth diaper, we just all wash it all together. And um, just everything is going surprisingly well. You're really loud. If you were. So, um, thank you guys so much for, um, just, you know, being there and watching me throughout my pregnancy vlogs, and I'll go ahead and show you guys a, um, well, I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys my postpartum belly and my birth story. This was just kind of like an introduction to Eden, and, um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll go ahead and get that birth story going for you guys. Thank you. Bye.